So are you thinking about moving to Los Angeles, California? In this video, we're going to explore yet another fabulous neighborhood, and that neighborhood is called Los Feliz. So if you or anyone you know are looking to move to LA, keep watching because this video is for you. And as usual, I'm going to take you around the neighborhood, show you different homes and different price points so you can decide what best will fit into your budget. So let's get started. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything about breathing, sleeping, living here in Los Angeles, California, make sure to subscribe below, hit the bell for notifications so you can always be the first one to learn about the current market here in Los Angeles, California. I'm Jana, local realtor here in Los Angeles and also part of the Living in Los Angeles, California team. And we get calls, texts, and emails almost every single day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to Los Angeles, California. And we love it. So whether you are moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email so we can help you make that smooth move to Los Angeles, California. So right now we are in the hills of Los Feliz. Lots of windy roads to get up here. Uh, homes are very close together. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the Hollywood Hills, uh, but without the celebrity, young celebrity price tag attached to it. Uh, but still you are in the hills. Uh, and actually, as a matter of fact, we are right close to, right beneath the Griffith Park Observatory. And the home that we're about to visit up here in the hills of Los Feliz is listed for 2.2 million. It has three bedrooms, four bathrooms, 2,600 square feet of living space. The home is in three levels and the bottom level is actually its own separate unit with own separate entrance. Uh, you can use that as an extra bedroom, guest room, or even rent it out. I would say what really sells this home is the views. You have spectacular, amazing views of the entire city of Los Angeles and of course the downtown Los Angeles skyline. The home wasn't furnished, it wasn't staged as we call it. And I always like a home that is furnished because it gives you an idea of what to do with what room and where to put what. A few upgrades were needed. There's an old carpet that either should be replaced or uh, ripped out totally. Uh, there was nice house, uh, there were nice hardwood floors on one of the levels. So uh, all in all, a great home. Uh, that might need a bit of work, uh, but that will be up to you. But uh, let's walk inside and let's see what the home has to offer.
So the home that we're about to walk into right now is listed for 2.9 million. It has five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, 3,446 square feet of living space to be exact, and the lot is 6,400 square feet. The home has been fully updated, fully upgraded, fully modernized in every sense of the word. You'll see that once we walk inside. It is light and bright, spacious, open floor plan, high ceilings, lots of natural light. The only thing is, the only little downside to this property and its location is that it is located close to a major street. And that street is Lost Field as a Boulevard. However, once you are on the property or even outside of the property and uh, the surrounding homes and the neighborhood, it is very quiet. You do not hear any street noise, even though you are that close to a major street. But uh, let's walk inside and let's see what this home has to offer. The home we're about to walk into right now is also located in the hills of Los Feliz. The home is listed for 3.7 million. It's a four bedrooms, five bathrooms, 3,200 square feet of living space. And here you can see a bit of it from the outside. And uh, as you can see, it is not street level. So uh, there's a lot of stairs and a lot of steps just getting to the front door. Something to take into consideration if you get a home like this. But other than that, it's a beautiful home, completely updated, upgraded and modernized, very light and bright, high ceilings. The backyard is beautiful. Uh, you have views of the entire city, the LA skyline. And uh, the backyard even has a little uh, walkway, a trail going uh, further up, like up to a view post and also a little 
uh, patio set was up there so you can enjoy you know an evening watching the la skyline but um let's head inside and let's see what this home has to offer Here is some general information about Los Feliz. Los Feliz is located north of downtown LA, very close to Hollywood, Glendale, and also very close to Griffith Park. Population 31,000. Median household income $104,000. Median home value $1.2 million. 
Let's talk about schools and school ratings. All ratings are according to greatschools.org. And all schools within the Los Feliz area are within the LA Unified School District. Franklin Avenue Elementary School, grades K through six, rating seven out of 10. Thomas Starr King Middle School, grades six through eight, rating six out of 10. John Marshall Senior High School, grades nine through 12, rating eight out of 10. Things to do in Los Feliz, where to eat, where to have fun, where to shop and where to relax. One of my personal favorite places to hang out when I come to Los Feliz is the Los Feliz Village, which is actually on North Vermont Avenue in between Hollywood Boulevard and Franklin Avenue. Here you find a variety of cute little boutiques, restaurants, brunch and lunch places, coffee shops, and also a movie theater. There's also Hillhurst Avenue. On Hillhurst, you also find uh, a nice little variety of restaurants and coffee shops. Let's talk about restaurants and where to eat. And here are the top 10 restaurants in Los Feliz according to TripAdvisor. Alco Cafe and Bakery, one of my own personal favorites. Great lunch, brunch, dinner spot with cute indoor and outdoor seating. Home Restaurant, also one of my personal favorites. This is a great spot for lunch and dinner uh, very cute seating, outdoor seating specifically, uh, kind of in a garden setting. Little Dom's, cozy, hip, Italian spot, serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Figaro Bistro, French European restaurant with some of the best cakes and desserts in town. The Dresden Room, American cuisine in a very unique atmosphere and also with live music on the weekends. Palermo Ristorante Italiano, an Italian restaurant in a unique atmosphere and also serving late night. Fred 62, a great neighborhood spot serving breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner, and late night. Machal, an overall cozy restaurant serving American cuisine and also a raw bar serving oysters. They have cute and cozy indoor seating and also outdoor seating with a fireplace. House of Pies, classic American diner, serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and also 19 different varieties of pies. Yucas Hut, Mexican casual restaurant, serving tacos, burritos, and also a variety of burgers and hot dogs. Let's talk about shopping. First and foremost, Los Feliz Village, located on North Vermont Avenue between Hollywood Boulevard and Franklin Avenue. Here you are mostly going to find boutiques. Hillhurst Avenue, this is for you grocery shopping. Here you're gonna find two grocery stores, Albertsons and Lassen's Natural Foods and Vitamins. But most of your shopping, besides grocery shopping, will mostly be outside of the area. Hollywood. Here you find more grocery stores, retail stores, and the Ovation Hollywood, which is an outdoor mall, also with a very clear view of the Hollywood sign. Glendale, here you find retail stores on Grand Boulevard and also the Americana, an outdoor shopping center that is located right across from the Glendale Galleria and indoor shopping mall. So there's lots and lots of shopping going on here in Glendale. Let's talk about parks. You are definitely going to find smaller parks sprinkled in here around the different neighborhoods here in Los Feliz. But the main attraction when it comes to parks is Griffith Park. 4,200 acres of natural terrain, landscaped parkland, picnic areas, hiking trails, playgrounds, athletic fields, pony rides, and much, much, much more. Griffith Park is one of the largest of its kind in the entire United States. Griffith Park is also home to the Griffith Observatory, the Greek Theater, a beautiful outdoor concert venue, museums, the LA Zoo, special gardens and forests, and of course, the Hollywood sign. 
And for a full overview of Griffith Park, visit laparks.org slash Griffith Park. Let's talk location. How centrally located is Los Feliz? Hollywood, five to 10 minutes. Glendale, 10 to 15 minutes. LAX, Los Angeles International Airport, 30 minutes. Burbank Airport, 12 minutes. Downtown LA, 15 minutes. Santa Monica Beaches, 30 minutes. And there you have it, another video about another great neighborhood here in the LA area, Los Feliz. Here is something for everybody, I would say, whether you are a single person or you are a family, lots of opportunities here. And also very centrally located, but yet surrounded by nature. If you have any questions about the video or Los Feliz or any other neighborhood here in the LA area, feel free to reach out to me directly. My information is in the description. You can also leave me a comment in the comment section. And until next time, hope to see you or take you somewhere around town.